Hi, my name is Mike and today I will show you how you can get good quality Forex historical data for free so you can do your research. When I was starting with programming and automated Forex trading I was really struggling with gathering good quality Forex data. So I had a lot of issues with backtesting my algorithms. I was receiving different results for different data sets. So basically I ended up with strategy that was profitable on backtesting, but when I applied it to the real market, it was actually losing money. So that's why good quality data is really important when you backtest your strategy. Having in fact my experience, I decided to make a video for you so you can get in a matter of minutes, good quality Forex data, so you won't waste a lot of time like I did. Okay, good quality Forex data. What do I actually mean by that? So when I talk about good quality, I mean ticks. So ticks, what is tick? Tick is basically a price movement, price change from one price to another price. When you look on all of those beautiful charts, from TradingView or MetaTrader 4 or CTrader or whatever trading platform you have, they are all made from candlesticks. Okay, candlestick. Candlestick is just a price representation in a specific period of time. So one candlestick contains only four informations, OHLC. So basically it contains only the open price of this one minute, let's say, the closing price, the highest point and the lowest point. So we got only four informations. So as you can see, this data is very limited, even if we have one minute period. But if we want to go deeper, we will move to the ticks. So basically, let's say we got this one minute time frame candlestick. The price could go from the low to the high in one straight movement, but it also could fluctuate for a hundred times during that one minute. We do not know that when we have candlestick data. But if we will get tick data, we will have all the price changes. So this one minute candlestick will be split for many smaller units of price changes. So it will be more precise and it will represent more accurately the actual market conditions that you can face on the real market. Okay, how we can get this tick data? We got three options. First option, we can go to Google, type download TIG data and you will get a lot of third-party software providers. Basically, you can download one of those softwares and they will allow you to download TIG data straight to your computer. But most of them are actually paid. So if you want to get all the benefits of the software, you will have to pay a fee, a membership fee or maybe one-time payment. Doesn't really matter. So if, if you want to pay money and to receive all of those benefits from those kind of third-party software providers, feel free. But we got two more options. The second one is actually to download this data by your own. And how we can do this? All of those softwares, they're actually querying one data source, one data center, which is Dukas Copy Bank. Dukas Copy Bank is a company that is based in Switzerland and they will actually allow you to download TIG data from their data centers for free. What you have to do, you will have to go to their website, click on the data storage or something like this. Then you will probably be forced to log in using your Google account or Facebook account, whatever. But then when you log in, you will be able to download TIG data for one specific hour and you can do it many times. Let's say we want to download data for 10 years for gold prices. Does it mean that I will have to download 10 years worth of data by clicking one time per one hour each time? It doesn't really make sense. It will take forever. So in that case, we got third option. The third, the third option is to use our coding skills and Python. What we will do, we will actually develop a script that will query a Dukas Copy Bank servers and download this data for us. So basically we will do the same thing that all of those softwares then that you can download for free are doing for us, but we won't pay any fee and we will have fully working engine to download TIG data developed by us. To do that, we will use open source GitHub repository called Duka. 
Duca is basically a Python library that is querying Duca's copy bank servers and downloading data for us. Shout out to the author of Duca. So what we have to do, we have to actually use pip to install Duca library and then we can type commands to actually download the tick data. Okay, now you can open your IDE, Visual Studio Code, Jupyter Notebook, PyCharm, whatever, something that you can code and let's get to work. Okay, so for the first thing we need to install Duca. So open the terminal and type pip install Duca. I got it already covered on my PC, but if you don't, just install the Duca. And we got Duca already installed, so now we can create a new file. Let's call it import ticks.py. Okay, and we need to import Duca. Okay, but before we will move further, I think we should see what is actually inside this library. So let's check Duca test init main. And this main contains the function that we will use to import our data. This is it up, so we need to import that one. So let's make it like import Duca app.app .app as import method let's call it like this we also need to import another thing from duca library that's called the time frame. Basically, the time frame will specify if we're gonna import candlesticks or ticks. So from Duca core utils import time frame. Okay, so another one. We need to also import date time. Okay, let's save it and run it to make sure everything is correct. Okay, imports are working. So now, in order to import data, we need to have the start. Let's call it like start date and end date. For start, we will make it like this, date time, dot date, and then we can specify the year, let's make it like 2019, then month, so make it like the January, and day, let's say the first day of the 2019, okay. And the end date will be, let's say, the 1st of February. So we will get the tick data for one month. Okay, so right now the most important thing. We will use import ticks.method. And now we need to pass the parameters. So I think we need to specify also the symbols we want to import data for so maybe let's make it like assets and we want data for euro usd okay so as a first thing if you can see in the main we need to pass the symbols parameter so let's take assets. Okay, the next argument is start and end date. 
so it's that one start date the 1st of January 2019 and end date one month later next we got the threads number for Duka to work we need to use only one thread if we use two three or more the Duka will not work because I think Duka's copy start to block multiple downloads from one IP address so uh, the safe the most safe way I think is to to use only one thread okay then we got argument of candle we do not want candle but we want ticks so we will use that one time frame dot tick exactly the next one is folder so we want to get the normal folder like this so basically this dot means that we will download our data in csv file inside our directory of this module import dot import ticks. okay and the last one is header header is basically definition if you want to have a header or not in our csv file so let's say we want the header so just type true okay so we got asset start date end date only one thread the time frame is tick folder is our root folder of this file and we want to receive header so let's save it and run it and if you can see we are actually downloading the data it can take one minute for one month so it's not that bad let's wait a little bit okay looks like the data is imported if we open the file yes we got the header and we got the things data let's check how many rows we got if you can see it's more than 2 million ticks per one month okay so so right now we know that it's working but i think we can validate it and actually we can use panda import pandas spd to load the data and see if everything is correct so let's make it like this tick data equals pd dot read csv and now we need to provide the path to our file so let's make it like this it will be not a path but a name maybe print tick data and we will comment out this okay let's check it and as you can see the ticks data is loaded we got time ask bit and also the volume so if you can see during one second we got multiple entries so it's much more accurate than one candlestick okay so what else can we do i think we can also print it on the matplotlib chart to check it out okay okay so let's import matplotlib as well dot i plot as plt 
and then plot and we will pass our thing data and let's say we want to plot the bid let's say ask bid and let's check plt that show let's save it and run it okay and we got it so this is the data of your usd for one month January 2019. If we can look closer, we can see two lines, the orange one and the blue one. I think one of them is the ask price and the other one is the bid price. Okay, so I think you're happy. We actually downloaded the data and it wasn't so hard. Thank you for watching, I hope my tutorial provided something useful for you. If you like this video and you want to get more stuff like this, please subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and leave a comment just to keep me motivating doing stuff like this. Thanks again and see you soon.